Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time I'm playing with my Discord buddy d over here, who also actually has a YouTube channel that I did not know about until very recently. Uh, it's the Stuff of Nerds. Uh, now, I just won Rock, Paper, Scissors, and I actually just absolutely have no way to really play, unfortunately. Not not this turn, at least. Um, because, like, I could get this and I could normal summon Donkey and search for, like, Skullcrobat Joker, but that's not going to really do anything. Um, I could put this in my scale and set these so I don't have to pay, like, life. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I'll just, I'll just put these, <laughs> I'll just put this here and I'll set these. Um, unfortunately, this deck does have a pretty big weakness. I'm playing the Perform Pal Zoo deck that I did the deck profile of, uh, a couple days back. Uh, or maybe like a day or so ago at this point. Uh, but this deck does have a very clear-cut weakness in that you have to draw a rat to kind of really kick your play line to the next level either rat or sky iris and there are 10 copies of those in your deck total there's the eight ways to rat um, but then there's the uh, there's the uh, there's the eight ways to rat and then there's the two sky irises themselves so that's 10 cards that could really like kickstart your turn structures but unfortunately there's a sky iris good um, but unfortunately what you end up with is you end up with these situations where uh, if you don't draw any of those cards then you uh, have really like lackluster starters and I just warning a yo send you so he's playing Yosinjus. <laughs> okay. Um, into Asante. Uh, but so I can activate Sky Iris. I probably should have activated it first. That way he couldn't like Twin Twister, my Pendulum Sorcerer, and the Sky Iris. Uh, but it's it's whatever. It's okay. Um, now what I'm not I'm not going to normal summon this donkey. I'm actually going to Pendulum summon it. I'm gonna pop the Sorcerer and search for the high scale, the Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon, because now I can Pendulum the Sorcerer and the Donkey. Um, and like that Sky Iris literally just unbricked my entire hand. Uh, because now I'm going to be able to resolve a rat as well, because I'll be able to search rat and then special summon it. Or, uh, search rat and normal summon it, rather. Uh, but, so, what we'll do is we'll pendulum these two, because Donkey does get its effect when it's special summoned. Uh, no, I do not wish to strike my own pendulum summon. Uh, but, so we're doing chain link 1 Sorcerer and chain link 2 Donkey, because the scales have to be up for, uh, for the, uh, sor for the, um, for the Donkey to resolve. And I'm just going to target Mirage Dragon. I'm not going to target another one, because I'm getting a uh, search off Donkey anyway. Uh, so that just seems fine for uh, for what I've got, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add I'm going to add the Geturtle, and I'm going to add Skullcrobat Joker um, off of this off of the Pendulum Sorcerer. The Skullcrobat Joker can be normal summoned for Dag Dagger Man at a later date, at a later time frame. So that's fine. Um, I could have destroyed this, but I actually just want to keep it here because I just don't like paying life points for these cards. <laughs> and there's not another target in my deck that I can search, so it's kind of fine uh, being where it is. But so we're going to make our Broad Bull here generically. And then uh, based off what this is... Ah, Endless Trap Hole, so Floodgate Trap Hole. Uh, that's kind of irritating to a slight degree. Uh, but at least I can Normal Summon this now. And I can use it to add... Um, I'll add... Lizard draw, because I've already got the low scale here. Uh, so, yeah, I'll add lizard draw. Or, no, I don't think I can afford to add lizard draw. I think I have to add the uh, the sorcerer, because I just put the sorcerer under this. So, what I'll be able to do is put Geturtle on my scale next turn, Pendulum, pop cards, uh, and then I'll be able to add lizard draw and do stuff there. So, strictly speaking, uh, I'm trying to grind this game out, uh, despite the fact that. Uh, well, let's see, I've got a strike down, so I mean, I guess I do have access to shutting off his second Yosinju play, um, which, like, is his deck's essential weakness. Uh, Yosin Training Grounds. I love this card. Uh, this card is, like, one of my favorite cards. <laughs> so, alright, so he's using that effect. I'm just going to go ahead and strike it. I'm not even going to deal with it, especially since, like, he gains counters, so there's no reason for me to not be, like, incentivized to just do this. I can't flip this face up, unfortunately. That's a luster. That's actually really good. Um, that's very good, actually. Jesus. Uh, because I can put this in my scale, pop this, just to, just to circulate out, um, uh, more cards out of my deck. And then, uh, it's, it's not gonna get a search, unfortunately. But, uh, like, it's fine, because it still just adds more pendulum names, and that's what you want. That's what you want to be dealing with. Uh, but, so we'll pop the luster, uh, and we can add... Let's see, I've got a low scale already in the form of the Guiding Ariadne, so I can just pendulum this and the stuff from my extra deck. So I'm going to search Odd Eyes Fusion because I'll be able to actually very likely uh, just make Odd Eyes Fusion live. So I'll be searching two cards. It's because I'm going to be popping this with my uh, Pendulum Sorcerer. So yeah. This seems pretty alright. 
because I'll be able to make Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon uh, as a as a good ending body. Uh, but so we'll special summon these three because those are the three I have access to, and I'll be able to make Ignister and also be able to make a um, a Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon. Uh, so I can pop these, and I'll add Lizard Draw and. I know I'm adding Light Phoenix. Now the other one I'm adding is either going to be Lizard Draw or Dag Dagger Man. Because I can just overlay two of these into a King of the Fairy Limps and search Lizard Draw anyway. And I haven't normal summoned this turn either, so I could search Mass Chameleon as well. Uh, so yeah, we'll get Lizard Draw. Because Lizard Draw, I can go ahead and do Katurta Lizard Draw, and that'll be fine. Uh, because then I'll be able to Odd Eyes Fusion away some of the stuff that's on my field. That's a Dragoons of Draconia, so that's another low scale, so that's good. That's a Dimensional Barrier that's not really that good against this matchup, so kind of, kind of ear like irritable like to be in a situation but what I can do is since I have only I have special summon from my hand so I can't su uh, use Mask Million's effect uh, that is a bit irritating irritable uh, but so it's still fine because I can just use Odd Eyes Fusion here and I'll use the uh, Joker or, or the Sorcerer not the Joker and use the Light Phoenix for Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon this is loaded up with negations and all that and I can actually just make Digusto Emerald here after I attack with all of these but this is actually just game isn't it I think this is literally just game. So, even though I bricked with this deck game, uh, this game, I still opened with two counter traps uh, and scales. So, like, it wasn't the right scales. I needed a high scale, uh, but then the Sky Iris just unbricked my hand completely. So it just it worked out in my favor. So he's playing Yosinju, and then, so this is the second video in a row that I'll have filmed playing against Yosinju. But that's fine because I'm playing a differentiating deck. Um, but so I think I may have already like hinted at this or mentioned this, uh, but Dmall has his own YouTube channel that I didn't even know of until recently, um, and it's relatively small. But its uh, its title is the Stuff of Nerds, and so if you're interested, you can go check that out uh, because he's someone that just plays on my videos a lot. See, I've opened two counter traps again, uh, so this is like irritating, <laughs> irritating, like very irritable. That's that's one of the things I don't like about this deck is that when you open the counter traps going second. Now, obviously, in sided games. Uh, you have the capability of siding out the counter traps and siding out the Ariadnes for other cards, like other like engine cards and good cards that you could like put in that would uh, just solidify the game state a little bit more. Uh, what did he just take? Did he just take the Floodgate Trap Hole? Um, yes, he did. Okay. So, but yeah, like this, that's the problem I have with this deck in general is that it it gets to that point where you just you're dealing with this in a manner that you really not want to be dealing with. Um, because, I mean, like, it's fine because I've got these counter traps. So I'm going to get Floodgate Trap Hold more than likely. Yeah. Uh, so Floodgate Trap Hold here. And then I'm just going to put my scales in. I'm going to Pendulum Summon this rat. And then Pop Lizard Draw to get a to get a draw after I Pendulum the rat. So that I'll be able to just do stuff there. Uh, unless there's, like, a Twin Twister here. If there's a Twin Twister here, then I'm just absolutely up shit creek. Um, ah, MST. On which one? On the Light Phoenix. Okay. I'm okay with that. So now I'll just set these cards that I didn't really want to draw and I'll pass my turn. Like that, like I said, that is the card. These are the cards I don't want to be drawing. I do not want to be drawing these counter traps. Uh, so they might end up just being cut from the deck altogether along with the Ariadne engine. Even though the Ariadne engine has an amazing interaction with the rest of the deck, it might just be better off suited as other cards, like cards that aren't like Bricky going second, like cards like Ghost Ogres maybe, or cards like Rageki, cards like, or just like even cutting them and adding in more like s extending starters, like adding in a third Barrage, adding in maybe some copies of Tenki, because Tenki can search a low scale in the form of Dragoons of Draconia. There's a lot of things that are running through my head over how I can change this deck around, if, it, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, now, I can't flip this face up. That's another strike. See, I'm just drawing these counter traps, and that's just irritating. Uh, irritating to, like, the nth degree. But at least now I'm going to be able to go into uh, into some zoo play lines, but it's not going to be ideal, per se, uh, because of the fact that I can't get the other rat out of my deck. <laughs> so I have to... I don't have the high scale either. I have a low scale, which I could use. Oh, so a solemn strike here. Alright, so we're just going to have Counter Trap Wars, apparently. But my Counter Trap War is going to be better than yours. Because my Counter Trap War ends as soon as I draw into a... Uh, into, as soon as I draw into a low scale. Okay, so MSTing one of them. You're going to activate its effect, mate? You are? Well, you, you hit one, you didn't hit the other. 
<laughs> well then, this game is so absolutely like bonkers. This is ridiculous. This is a max C. I'm gonna pass my turn now. Uh, so now I'm probably just gonna get absolutely destroyed by like Yosinju things if he has another name. So he's got a Sujik. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Attack my rat, please. I don't want it here anymore. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So Sujik is gonna go to his hand. Um, I don't know if this is a back row. It is a back row. Okay, something I've got to be mindful of. Um, and this Max C is virtually useless. Uh, that's a Skull Crobat Joker. Please don't get negated. I don't want this to get negated. Please. <laughs> I want. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So now here's the deal: is that I'm going to search. Pendulum Sorcerer, one, because it's a low scale, and two, because if I draw into Sky Iris or anything to destroy the Pendulum Sorcerer um, and replace it with another low scale, that means I've got Pendulum Sorcerer online. Uh, but as it stands right now, I can literally just use this to Pendulum some of my Light Phoenix um, and just keep doing things with it. And uh, so Light Phoenix is going to be big, all of my monsters are going to be big, and this is actually this is actually 68. This is low-key a game shot, because um, I can attack with this, uh, do 3k. If this isn't a Mirror Force, okay, it's Drowning Mirror Force. I'm going to go ahead and use this effect, tributing it to uh, to give this the boost so that it stays in my extra deck as a resource. <laughs> okay, so without that Drowning Mirror Force, that was actually just game because he's a 65. That would have been 3,000 with Light Phoenix and then tributing Light Phoenix to make Skull Crobat Joker bigger, which would have made it 38, which would have been 68. So this Sujik is just pumping itself and swinging at me for 2K. So I'm pretty low in life uh, in all actual, like, reality because of the fact that I did warning and strike so I'm at 25 so this Sujik has actually got me on a two turn clock now where if I can't answer like whatever back row is here this is such a simplified game state it's absolutely ridiculous that's a guiding Ariadne uh, that's actually pretty alright um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to special summon just this one I'm gonna special just this one because if this is like something like a solemn strike or whatever um, then I don't want to have to deal with that. Um, and I'm not even going to normal summon the Ariadne, uh, for the reasons of if this is another Mirror Force card, I'm just going to set the Ariadne <laughs> so that I don't keep taking damage. Um, but I'm going to set it here and now. So that's, that seems fine. This is ridiculous! This is not at all what I wanted to showcase about this deck, uh, in any way, shape, or form, so this might actually just be a three-game video. Um, so... Uh, like this just might be uh, this is gonna be three games um, I'm just putting that in my discord chat so that he sees it um, I can actually I can actually just do this this is gonna be three games uh, just doing this right now um, for the essence of uh, for the essence of like I won't I need to resolve a rat to show how this deck is good I mean I'm planning on doing other videos with this deck anyway but as of right now um, as of right now, like, <laughs> it's, it's just an issue, um, because I haven't resolved a rat, um, I've only been resolving counter traps, and, like, very lackluster pendulum summons, so it's not really showing how good the deck is, so, the thing is, is I might actually just keep, uh, keep this video as it is, but then also do a few other videos that go up in the same day, I don't know, um, I don't know how this is gonna work, but it's literally just been counter trap wars. I've been I've been stopping his normal summons and his effects, and he's been stopping my own. So this is um, not what I had intended. And then we're only 13 minutes in, so time is not a factor for this right now. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna do a third game onto this video. We're gonna go back to the old format temporarily for one video where we just play three games regardless. That's a Sky Iris. That's good. And that's really good, because uh, that means I can pop this, and now I can just go pretty, pretty ham. Um, or not, because I just popped my low scale <laughs> like a dingus. Alright, well I'm going to search for the Odd Eyes Fusion and just poke for 2k. I, just, I got lost in my own train of thought. That happens from time to time, if you've watched my videos for any extenuating amount of time. I'll get lost in my train of thought. The Light Phoenix is here! The low scale was on the board! <laughs> what have I done? What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Alright, so now he gets to pump with Sujik. 
and crash into this, and so now I have to draw a low scale. Luckily for me, there's a lot of low scales in my deck. There is so many more low scales than there are high scales. There are the other Pendulum Sorcerers. There are the, uh... Oh! He's Sujiking over! Oh no, that means I have to draw a low scale now. If he had just bumped heads, I would have had a couple turns too. But now I've got to set this max C uh, to survive next turn. Uh, these traps could be something. This 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 went horribly. This might just be a this might be a third game strictly off of the fact that I could just lose this one. Uh, this Terratop is a pretty spicy top deck though, so might not be the case. Uh, but so yeah, we'll get this for Takatomborg, and then uh, special to Takatom and see if see if we get to go um, now the thing is I could actually just go into totem bird um, yeah I'm just gonna go into totem bird totem bird is just game even if I negate like a mirror force card totem bird is just game so we're just gonna we're just gonna do this okay so we're going into the third game if this uh, if this attack hits with me still being the 2-0 victor but this deck yeah I'm drowning um, so now the only way that I that he wins is if this is a another mirror force or a strike but strike would just pay him down to exactly zero um, and that would just be game so so there is that so we're gonna go into this third game uh, just because we've gotten the time for it we're only at 18 minutes and like I like these videos to be at least 20 minutes in length uh, just because they're a pretty decent length they're pretty good um, as far as lengthwise to be about that long but uh, so this hand it's pretty good. I didn't draw a bunch of counter traps, although I did in the form of Ariadne, but that's fine because I've got Luster plus Ariadne, which is an insane interaction. So I've got Luster plus Ariadne. I can Pendulum Summon a bunch of those, uh, and then everything will be pretty good. Now I have no idea if he's playing just regular pure Yosinjus. I'd assume that he's playing Yosinju Kaiju. I'm just gonna have to ask him after the fact so I can uh, figure out what he's playing for the uh, for the uh, thumbnail and the title essentially. Uh, but he doesn't have Yosin Training Ground, which is a bit unfortunate. Ah, he's got Card of Demise. Okay. Um, so he's playing Demise Yosinju. That that solved the question. That answered the question right then and there. So, uh, setting four. <laughs> oh my. Um, and resolving his Card of Demise. Hopefully resolving his Card of Demise first. Uh, hopefully he has Auto Chain Order switch off. That way he can re choose to resolve. Oh no. He didn't turn it off. You didn't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't. Okay, well at least he was able to save it for one. Um, he was able to. He was able to only get away with only discarding one. Um, oh, he just hit the Osinju first. That's terrible. What a terrible, terrible time to be alive. And comma three too. Like comma three is the one you wanted to keep 100%. Uh, but so okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna activate this. We're gonna activate the Ariadne. Um, and we're gonna see how far we get. Uh, so we'll activate this. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run into a strike, so I'm gonna have to be very mindful of my uh, pendulum summons, essentially. I'm probably gonna pendulum summon one, the Ariadne, because if it gets striked, it still searches for a strike of my own. Um, so he's striking my Ariadne here. I st I <laughs> this card activates anywhere! <laughs> mate! Mate! How do you do that? How did you misplay like that? This is the second game you've played with me where you've misplayed with a Solemn Strike. This is a bit unfortunate. Um, that's so irritating. That's so ir I would be super salty if I was in your position right now. Um, but so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this cool, right? I'm going to put the Dag Dagger Man in my scale because I'm going to normal summon this donkey. And I'm going to try and use its effect. And if I get to use its effect and I add Sorcerer, I'm going to try and Pendulum Summon the Sorcerer. Um, and so if the Pendulum Summon of the Sorcerer does not successfully go through, uh, it'll go to my Graveyard, which will then allow the... Well, the Ariadne will trigger as well. Um, and so if this doesn't resolve... Warning, okay. And so the Ariadne will activate. And now I can use my Dag Dagger Man to add back the, uh, the Pendulum Sorcerer because that's what its effect is. So, we're just, we're playing around and through counter traps, through and through. Um, or at least we're trying to. But the thing is, he still has Yosinju's in his hand, but I've got double strike. Uh, so, like, unless one of these sets is Twin Twister, but if it was Twin Twister, I would expect it to have already been activated. Or at least something like Double MST or something. I would expect that to, like, have already come down, like, even if it was just MST, like, on the Luster. That's such a juicy card um, to just deal with. 
Uh, but so I'm just gonna I'm gonna set these cards. I'm gonna pass my turn. So like playing through counter traps is pretty effective um, with this deck. But that strike was just awful. That strike was god awful. I don't understand how he decided to just do that. Strike the Ariadne in my extra deck. It destroys it. Goes to the to the graveyard. Um, like that's just mm, that's just terrible. All right. Now the thing here that I could actually lose to is okay. So he's not even using the effect. He saw me search. He gave me double strike. So he's not even using the effect. Pretty pretty smart. Uh, now the thing is I could strike it in the end phase uh, when it activates its effect to go back to hand. Um, just so that I don't have to deal with it, but I'm actually just gonna let it go back to his hand. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Zubaraj. Well, I'll be damned. We're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna do this, and we're gonna pop the Dag Dagger Man. Cause, well, I could search a high scale if this resolves, but I've got low scales in my hand, so that's just the safer route. Yeah, that's just the safest route. Uh, so we'll pop Dag Dagger Man because it's already done its purpose. Being able to summon it will just be better. And so now we'll just resolve rats. We'll try to resolve rats, at least. Uh, that's the key. Uh, but this plays through, like, a bunch of stuff. Okay, Dimensional Barrier calling Xyz. Alright, that's fair. Uh, and so what I'll do is I'll put uh, this in my scale. And I will then attempt to Pendulum Summon my Skullcrobat Joker. Or not Skullcrobat Joker, my Pendulum Sorcerer. Uh, Pendulum Sorcerer is fine, and then we'll activate its effect, and we'll just destroy the scales uh, so that we can get access to the Geturtle and the Skullcrobat Joker, which I can then normal summon and use to search for a, uh, a Lizard Draw. Or I can just make Mass Chameleon. Or not Mass Chameleon, King of the Fairlands. Jesus, no, I can't do that because I'm on Xyz. That's right. So yeah, what we will do is we will uh, we will get the uh, the lizard draw. I'm not too worried about this dying to him just not uh, him just not doing things uh, like to to play around my strikes. I'm not worried about that at all because of the fact that I have the whip tail in hand one and two. I've got a barrage here that I could use to get another uh, another card. So that's not really an issue. And I just drew book of moon, so that's pretty all right. Uh, I set that before battle phase like a scrub. I could just get malevolent catastrophe here. Um, and so this isn't a Mirror Force. That's very interesting. I was expecting that to definitely be a Mirror Force card, um, but it turns out that it just is not. So we'll just we'll keep this going. He's at 200. He's definitely got to start playing the game, or else. So he's got one MST for one of my Solemn Strikes. Uh, so if he has another MST for the other one, which he knows is Solemn Strike, uh, then I don't know what else we could do about it. Uh, in the essence of just being able to Book of Mooning, like his monster. Uh, that seems like it would be the best way to go. Um, yeah, because if he doesn't use his effect here, I guess I just Book of Moon uh, so that this survives, and then he's just 100% out of the game uh, because of the fact that I'm just able to go into my, uh, my rat play unimpeded, unless this is another barrier. Uh, but if it's another barrier, then this is just game anyway, uh, because I get to attack over this being only 200 defense. So... Okay, so we'll find out. Uh, I can actually just poke and poke. It's not really that big of an issue. Um, but I will just do the zoo play. I just drew a rat, though, so that's kind of irritating. Um, sadly. Uh, but I will be able to just do the full rat play and then get a, uh, a uh, lizard draw to draw two before I do anything else. So, the potential is there. Uh, summon this one from hand, that seems pretty alright. Uh, and then Xyz using another zoo monster, yes. We'll do the Broad Bull. Uh, I've, my commentary has just like devolved into just, yeah, do this, yeah, do that. But that's that's just how it has to go at this point. Uh, because because this deck is so like, like it's so in-depthly like, tuned in my mind of how to play it. Um, that uh, I don't even need the low scale, but I I just I'm 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 messing up a little bit. Uh, I could have searched my low scale there, but it doesn't matter because this is just game. Um, so I, <laughs> um, that's just how this goes. So we'll detach from here, search for the lizard, uh, and then the lizard will get me two draws with a turtle. I could draw into Skyris. I could draw into a few other options to give myself a low scale. 
uh, if that's what was needed. Um, that's a solemn strike, so that's pretty good. And then that's a warning. Why? Why have I drawn all four of my counter? Why do I have all four of my counter traps now? That's a bit off-putting. Uh, but so what we'll do is we'll just attack here, and then this is just game. Uh, so Yosinju Demise can't deal with me today, apparently. So that's a bit unfortunate for him uh, to be on the receiving end of a 3-0. But like this deck, this deck operates very smoothly uh, when it does get its ability to operate. So. That's all I really wanted to show. I'm definitely going to be doing another video with this deck uh, before before I definitely lose interest in it or before I, another event happens or something like that. I'm definitely going to be doing more videos with it. Just people wanted me to play videos with it. Um, and I'm probably going to play videos with the next build that I play. is probably going to be like with one of the more tweaked versions uh, that I've been working with. This was legitimately just the version that was in that deck profile uh, because people wanted to see how that specifically operated. Uh, but I have some different versions that I've tweaked since then. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Any questions, comments, concerns, all that nonsense. Definitely be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And check out the links in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the way to go. As well as it gets you into a monthly raffle giveaway for a high dollar card or sealed product. Whatever the flavor of the month is uh, for that particular month. As well as possible access into my personal Discord server to chat with me and play games with me for videos. That is where Dmall came from. And like I already said, he has a YouTube channel called The Stuff of Dirt. If you want to check that out, he asked me if I could give him a little shout out, and so that's what this is. But otherwise, if you are looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting my channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business. Their prices and shipping are both really good. If you're going to be looking to acquire cards that I played in this video, then definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that's it for this video. Again, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And as usual, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video.